listening Yes, I'm guilty of this, you should know this I broke down and wrote you back before you had a chance to Forget forgotten, I am moving past Tegan Quinn is taking her relationship with AFI's Hunter Bergen to the next level. Tegan and Sarah fans shouldn't worry though, it's strictly professional and yes there's room for three. Bergen guested on Tegan and Sarah's The Con and the friendship between Bergen and Tegan has grown into a full-fledged side project. Tegan talks about working with Bergen. We've been writing like dance songs together. And we're both too old and tired to be in a ba another band on top of the band we're already in, so we're just going to try to sell the songs to other people, make them do the work and stuff. So, But, but we kind of work on stuff together, which has been really nice. And then, I don't know, we always have a million projects up our sleeve, so we're just going to keep, keep making ourselves work all the time. Because if we don't, we'll get into trouble, I think. She talked about how she befriended Hunter and how it evolved into the project. Mutual appreciation for each other's work and... He emailed me and I was still answering fan mail in those days and um, I didn't believe that he was actually an AFI, I thought that was he was probably just pretending. So I did a lot of research and um, I asked him like a lot of questions and then I agreed to meet up with him when I was in LA the next time I went through there and, um, and he didn't weird me out so I was like okay we can be friends. So. We started, I started just sending him old songs that I hadn't really done anything with and he just started re like redoing all the instrumentation. So it was, it's, it's I've never actually collaborated with anyone up, into, up until that point. I never really even, like me and Sarah don't write songs together. So it's really weird. And I feel explosive and angry at times by his comments, but I like making music with them. So. Tegan and Sarah are set for a fall tour starting September 20th at the San Diego street scene. Their latest single is Call It Off.